Distinguished guests, uh, Mrs. Valan um, welcomes um, the organization of the CRE of this event. She expresses her regrets for not being able to participate today. Um, and I would like to thank you and uh, ask you to uh, allow me to convey her message uh, to the conference. Uh, the EU energy market is uh, at a turning point where uh, the offer for competitive priced uh, energy becomes uh, threatened by the evolving geopolitical situation at our eastern borders. The recent Russia-Ukraine turmoil has proved that European energy dependency on a single supply source is the greatest systemic challenge to uh, both foreign EU and uh, security policy. The solution to the present state of play is, of course, not confrontation, but uh, reorientation. Uh, at this juncture, the uh, EU finds itself deeply dependent for its energy supply on routes crossing its eastern borders, the unidirectional uh, gas flows uh, east-west, which uh, are insufficiently interconnected among uh, national uh, markets, as well as monopolized uh, uh, national markets are dangerous for both uh, security and economic reasons. The more the EU looks to the east, the more the greater its dependence on Russia and the less it will be able to profit from uh, global uh, value chains. As the world continues to shrink, Europe must turn more decisively towards its uh, natural uh, gateway, the global economy. When it comes to energy, access to the global energy market and the new supply routes is the key uh, towards long-term competitiveness for our industry, and therefore I strongly support an extended deal on energy trade within the TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership Agreement. European consumers have to be allowed to benefit from the deep uh, discontinuities in gas prices, uh, between the American and European markets, which, for example, stand today at a 4 to 1 uh, ratio. Besides uh, committing to complete this groundbreaking deal, Europe must do something else. It must uh, restart its um, financing for energy infrastructure. Uh, this financing has been currently halted due to the prolonged uh, financial crisis and due to increased levels of uh, sovereign debt among member states. This has turned uh, investors' appetite away from financing uh, large long-term infrastructure projects and has uh, halted uh, any investment in uh, interconnected, interconnecting the regional or national markets. Currently, the uh, energy infrastructure package as well as the Connecting Europe facility have already set um, a list of projects of common European interest which uh, were selected in regional groups uh, where all member states participated. And this uh, new mechanism of the infrastructure package and the Connecting Europe facility will uh, permit um, through uh, incentives, cross-border cost allocation, streamlined permit granting, as well as the 5.5 billion euros worth of uh, public support. Um, the development of a new asset class for infrastructure projects in Europe, which will uh, offer the higher credentials uh, needed and expected by private investors. I am talking about private investors because um, the needs, which were already uh, mentioned by the Commission of over 200 billion euros just for uh, transmission and interconnectivity, can of course not be covered through the 5.5 billion of uh, public support. That's why, as a EU Parliament Rapporteur on the Connected Europe facility, uh, Mrs. Valen has uh, fought and ensured the best use of uh, public uh, uh, spending through European uh, public support, through the new and innovative financial instruments uh, that are guaranteed by the European Investment Bank. Uh, these new financial instruments will uh, mean that uh, uh, there will be a leverage factor of uh, 10 to 15 times for each public euro spent. Uh, it will, they will uh, attract private investors and they will relieve the scarce budgets of uh, member states which uh, have been reduced uh, during the financial crisis. The Connecting Europe is of course a first step, but the magnitude of the infrastructure demand, as I said, requires a global approach. Uh, on long-term infrastructure funding. Therefore, um, uh, we urge the Commission to materialize their uh, 
promise for a legislative proposal for developing long-term infrastructure funding, uh, funds in Europe, which should be aimed at setting uh, the financial framework for regional uh, investment funds for infrastructure and uh, national investment funds for uh, infrastructure. These investment funds uh, can and will be co-sponsored by private investors, the European Investment Bank, national governments and other participants.